Now well, this is a, let's see here, ORX Volcara Switchable. Um, that is the uh, Spectrum uh, DSM2 and DSMX. So I was trying to pop this uh, little pigtail like connector off. And as you can see, it took the button off the circuit board and part of the circuit board. So right there is what it looks like. It's hard to get the camera to focus, so I'm gonna try to angle around and give you more views. You can see the pin is still on there. I just went through a very painstaking process to um, test that um, connecting to those two points allowed this thing to still transmit to this device here, which is a blade inductrix, very similar to a uh, Nano QX. In fact, I was using the same model for it. So anyway, my plan is to um, cut that pigtail off and solder it. Um, I was wanting to make a mod anyway, where uh, instead of this thing sticking out like that, that it comes up straight because when this thing sits down on a table, um, the antenna hits uh, with the normal design. So I'll show you that if I actually get that far in this project. All right, it doesn't show up very good on camera. It doesn't look very good in person. But what we have here is up at the top. I'm gonna to try to point out it for you. Up here at the top, right there. That is the uh, sheathing around here. I, I took the button top off. So that is that soldered on to the pad. You can see this pad over here that we got ripped off. And then here is the core of the uh, antenna pigtail soldered there and I removed that pin that was stuck. So um, when you do that, you want to remember to uh, have this thing already flossed through your uh, hole. Once it's soldered on, you can't pop it off and redo it. And I'm about to show you why I want that going through the hole when the nut on that thing, let me see what I can, yeah, see the nut on that thing is actually supposed to sit in that hexagon around the hole. But that's what makes the antenna come out straight. So I want to uh, have it on there at a 90 degree. All right, so I had a bit of a detour with the uh, Free Sky Tranus. I'm upgrading from that controller there, by the way. That little bright lump on the edge that I'm getting super close to, uh, that's where the hole came out. And it was at a 90 degree. So it was off center from the unit and it was coming straight out so that whenever you rested it on a table, it sat on the antenna. So I can still cock the antenna off to the side and it gets close to, but doesn't interfere with my uh, switches there. I ended up doing this with uh, what's called JB Steel. It's like JB Weld, but uh, it's solid. So you're not dealing with like a, a goo. But here, let me see if I can show you. Put this thing up against the wall there. And yeah, you can see how the antenna um, clears the wall. You can see the, the bright light shining through. So yeah, that means I can rest this thing on a box or uh, or rest, put this thing in my uh, my carrying box, or rest it in a or on a table. And uh, right now, it's not sitting on the uh, antenna like it used to.